Greetings, my name is Jerome Newton-Smith. I'm sending this message from a place called Tellerook, a farm I live on in uh, central Victoria in, in Australia. Today is um, Friday the 30th of, of September 2011. And so I was sitting here in my office just having a look over the farmlands. I was thinking about what was happening in a place that I spent uh, some considerable time over a period of years um, back in the 1990s and that place is Myanmar and Burma and I was thinking about Aung San Suu Kyi the fact that she's been released and has certainly some freedom there and um, the progress that is being made um, by her and her uh, supporters in terms of the steps towards freedom and democracy um, I first went to Burma in, uh, or Myanmar in 1990 and over a period of about three years I established a home, um, driver, maids, those sorts of things and basically had um, an operation um, in the capital or the then capital then which was Rangoon or Yangon um, and back in Australia. So over a period between 1990 and 1993, I spent quite a lot of time um, in, uh, in Myanmar uh, and grew to uh, uh, love the place and spend time with uh, a lot of uh, uh, very dear friends and so on. Um, unfortunately, the political situation didn't work out, which impacted on the ability to um, run a business at that particular time, so I closed it down and return to, to Australia. But um, what it did do is give me um, ideas and the desire to um, write a series of uh, what I call fact fiction books, um, primarily set in, uh, in Burma. Um, and those books um, were the Burma Conspiracy, um, Boji, uh, River of Lost Footsteps, and the final um, book was a book called Shan. Um, it's interesting in my research that um, about the economic side, because I'm essentially a businessman, about um, Burma, that um, what I discovered was prior to the Second World War that um, Burma was the real jewel in the British crown. It was the richest country in the Commonwealth by far. Um, it supplied three quarters of the world's um, exports of rice. Um, British petroleum was a reverse takeover of Rangoon oil. Uh, it was the engine room in terms of a large number of products for India and also the uh, cotton and jute mills of um, England and Northern England and Scotland. Um, it was rich in tin, a whole range of um, minerals, to say nothing of uh, rubies and sapphires and, and diamonds and so on. Um, but oil or kerosene was one of the key um, exports of India and particularly to uh, sorry, of exports of Burma, particularly to, uh, to India. So anyway, as I sit here and, uh, and the day uh, unfolds here in, in Australia, my thoughts go out to um, those people, those friends of mine that are still um, in, um, in Burma, and, uh, and especially to uh, the leader for the National League for Democracy, Aung San Suu Kyi. So hopefully um, over that long period of time since 1990 that uh, some of those books um, people may have read um, which would give them a further insight into the, the history and the culture and the background into uh, a wonderful country and a wonderful um, people. So cheerio for now from um, Jerome in, in Tellerook in Victoria, Australia and um, hopefully um, uh, 
I may have the opportunity to, to visit um, Burma sometime soon. But in the meantime, I'm going to put up my details so that if anybody um, in Burma that I did meet back in those early years in the 1990s uh, can remember and so on, I'd certainly appreciate getting an email. So here's my details. Thank you and goodbye.